Hello! In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a rain cloud craft. This is more of a process art where you can kind of have fun making puddles at the very bottom with some um, eyedroppers and some paint. So for this, you're going to need to have a shallow dish or a tray. You need to have a pipette, um, eyedropper, something that's fairly long, uh, depending on what, what kind of paint that you're using. Need some heavier paper. I have some watercolor paper here. Need some glue, some cotton balls, um, and then some, I have watercolor, liquid watercolor. You could also use some food coloring as well. So first thing you wanna do is you can probably tape, tape or affix your paper towards the bottom of your tray. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna tip it and this is we're just gonna let gravity pull the water down. Or, watercolor or the water. But the first thing that we want to do is we're going to put some fluffy clouds right here at the very top. So if you have some cotton balls or old batting um, or anything that you want to put up top here, go ahead and do that. We're going to take our glue and we're going to put it all over the top here. And we're gonna just make sure we get nice and glued. You could use some hot glue if you want. I wouldn't really recommend using stick glue for this because you really wanna make sure all those fibers stick down. You could use tacky glue if you have some tacky glue. Just kind of spread out your cotton balls. You can use cotton balls if you have some old batting. You can use batting. Just kind of spread it out here, just making our little rain clouds. Just spread it all the way out and fill the top of your paper here. Make sure you get all that glue covered. All right, once you've got your rain clouds, AKA your cotton balls glued on here, now comes the fun rain part. So we all know that it rains a lot in the spring and that's what brings about all the worms. So in order to do our little rain activity here, again, you're going to, going to want to grab your eyedroppers and we've got to teach, teach our little ones that when you dip it into the coloring or the paint, you want to squeeze it, dip it, and then when you let it go, it brings it sucks up the paint into the bottom of our, our dropper here. And then we wanna squeeze it once more down the paper. So this is how we do it. So I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm just taking it straight from my bottle here. So I have a long one. I'm gonna squeeze it, let it go. See how it sucks it up into there. I'm going to move my tray so it's at a slant. And then I'm gonna drop it a few drops at a time and let it just run down my paper. You see how it goes down like that? And it rains and it's okay if it pulls at the bottom. We kind of want to create the effect of, you know, puddles in that. And I have, I just have liquid, food, or liquid watercolor here. So it's a very, very blue hue. Um, you could always water it down if it, you want it to go a little bit faster or if you think it's too blue. I'm going to put a little drops in our clouds here. Liquid watercolor is really concentrated so we get a really, really blue. If you want it to be a little bit lighter, like I said, just add some, add some water and it'll also flow a little bit better too. And then you can kind of run it down like this. So we like to let it pool at the bottom here so then it, the paper kind of soaks it up and then you get the illusion of some puddles down there. So you want to make sure that you let this dry all the way so it's not wet. Then that's what it looks like kind of for our little rain cloud activity. So again, you don't have to use, I chose some really thick paper. You can use paper that's a little bit thinner if you want. It'll flow a little bit better 
If you don't like the blue being too dark, you can always water it down. There's several ways that you can do this, but the main idea is to get it on some sort of a tray so that we can lift it up and, and slant it so then the water can trickle down to the very bottom, just like some rain.